This is Josiah Plays The Elder Scrolls Online Dark Brotherhood DLC. We are going to find out what Speaker Terranus wants. He just showed up here. There's also the Red Book. Hold on, we're not going to talk to him yet. Hold on, I want to go see what's going on down in... Um... We read all the books here. There are a lot of books about Dark Brotherhood related topics. All of which we read here. There's a lot of people. This is this uh, chapter of the Dark Brotherhood is really jumping. It's not my gold, but I'd suggest you get to work on that contract. All right, so he wants us to do that contract, but the speaker's here and has shit to say. So we're gonna find out what. Just listening, lurking as usual. Okay, blank slate. That's fine. Let's see. Sato says, I should also note that while the Black Hand are indeed the heads of the Dark Brotherhood, the Listener has authority over all other rumors. Yeah, well, that's the impression that I got, since the Listener is the one who actually gets the instructions from the Dark Mother, or the Night Mother, or the... What is she? The Night Mother? Is the feared princess Yum Yum still there? I haven't seen her. She's probably off terrorizing the world. Alright, let's talk to Speaker Terranus. Have you come to hear the will of our Night Mother? Do you have anything for me today, Speaker? Yes. The Night Mother whispered and the listener has spoken. Our dread father demands blood. Whoa, you said that so dramatically. Let me try to... Who do I need to... KILL? <laughs> Before we begin, I offer you a chance to truly impress our dark patrons. Two challenges. Complete these tasks and receive additional rewards. Just be sure to kill the target. As long as they die, our dread father will be satisfied. No problem. This guy's always all edge lordy. The first time we met him was in the lighthouse, and we had already read a letter previous suggesting that the lighthouse keeper had been had been kind of made himself an enemy of the Dark Brotherhood or whatever, and then that he was ki that he had been killed, but then his wife was apparently being recalcitrant as well. So we show up to this, we walk into the lighthouse, and there's two chairs in front of a fire. And at first you don't notice, you just see two people sitting in the chairs. You know, he's sitting there with his hood and looking all, and he's all leaned back, all fucking super casual, right? And in the other chair is this woman who's got like three daggers sticking out of her chest, and she's all bloody and just dead right there. And this dude's just chilling there in the next chair like he gives no fucks. Yeah, the lighthouse and anvil, yeah. Alright, I'm listening. You must go to the sewer tenement. I hear it's remarkably cozy for a sewer. Full of the little comforts that put our targets at ease. That make them careless. You'll be considered a trespasser. So if you want to avoid a bounty, you should avoid being seen. The fuck is the sewer tenement? Do I need to do? The sewer is a tangled nest of tunnels and systems. Even the most wary assassin can be caught off guard there. But we are much more than assassins, aren't we? Complete your task without alerting the residents of the sewer tenement to your presence. I understand. I'm eager to see just how swift you are. <laughs> we have not met. Perfect opportunity to put your speed Prepare <laughs> to be disappointed. The overseer stalks those sewers periodically. My challenge is simple. Kill your mark and escape the sewers before the overseer arrives. Oh man. And this is an MMO, so there's no fucking quick saving and reloading if I fuck it up. 
is your second challenge. If blood is to be spilled, let it be spilled in Sithis' name. Use the blade of woe. In doing so, you honor your dread father and the Brotherhood. Alright, that's easy enough. They made a card in Elder Scrolls Legends after Terranus? Oh, really? A client requested that we destroy one of the target's favored possessions. A custom-made hooker. It is an heirloom, you see. All that history. All those memories. Gone in an instant. Sithis will be pleased to see it destroyed. Okay, what the fuck? I'm murdering the dude. He's not gonna care that we destroyed his hookah. <laughs> but alright, whatever. During Oblivion, you hear rumors that a traitor exists in the ranks of the Brotherhood. After you become a silencer, you're given the task of enacting the ritual of purification on the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. That sounds familiar. Sounds really familiar. I feel like I read about that. Not in this game, but like in Skyrim or something. Who is my target? Herminius Andros, a renowned equestrian. The courier stakes is coming up, and the bookkeepers are certain that he'll win. Our client would like to keep Andrus out of the saddle. Permanently. Kill this Imperial. Are you telling me I, I'm being sent to murder a jockey? Herminius Andus would die. That wasn't really the right voice. It was close. Herminius Andus will die. Teleport now. Oh, okay. I guess. Sewer Tenement. With war raging across Tamriel, the displaced and dispossessed became even more desperate in their search for safe havens. After enough hard look and danger, even the sewers can seem like an acceptable refuge. Sewers of what, though? Of what city? Kavach? Anvil? Somewhere else? Yeah, you gotta wipe out the whole... You're actually killing members. Okay, trespassing. I'm in a restricted area. Alright, apparently I have a time limit. We'll have to read this later because apparently we have a time limit. This place is big. I really want to explore it. Go that way, but this looks like a dead end. That sounds really cool, Saito. Here's a hiding spot. I almost got seen, and I'm supposed to remain undetected here. So... There goes the Gold Coast Trader. There's a Gold Coast Warden. If I murder people with the Blade of Woe, does that count? Oh, he's got an anti-stealth aura thing. Not cool. Everybody move along, please. Oh, fuck! 
That was close. Close. Alright, I ain't got time to fuck around, so... Where this person is that I'm looking. Where this fucking hookah is. Alright, I found the hookah. Now I just have to find the person that I need to murder. Shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ooh, that ring got real close to me. Where's the actual murder victim? Oh, he's any fucking where. Alright, fine. No, 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 it's not gonna see me, it's not gonna see me. Oh, that was so close. There he is! Alright, is there anybody watching? Is there anybody looking? Blade of Woe. No! Do not turn and see me. Escape before the Overseer arrives. Alright, let's go. Damn it. Here comes the Warden. Come on. Oh, I see the timer. I have a minute 40 seconds. That should be enough. Come on. Turn around, pal. did it. I'm out of here. Woo! Success! Alright. Awesome. Achievement unlocked. Hidden Sacrament. I am a fucking pro. Assassin. In the basement of the Anvil Lighthouse. Wow. That sounds like some pretty crazy convoluted shit. That's in Oblivion you're talking about, huh? See, that sounds way better than the Dark Brotherhood questline in... in Skyrim, from what I've seen of it. Which is not everything. But... I made it. I did it. What are Grazda and Mirabelle doing? Received a contract from the speaker. Black Sacrament has been performed for Herminius Andus at the sewer tenement. Where did they go? My imagination, or was. Let me guess. Looking to hear my look, no. Let me guess. Yeah, shut up. Initiate. 
I should be more pleased that the Grand Sermonizer is dead. But I can't help feeling that a storm gathers on the horizon. Elam mentioned that the contracts were stacking up. I suspect he'd appreciate your help if you'd be so kind. I... I don't think anybody's gonna say anything new to me right now. I can't believe Simbar is dead. Yeah, yeah. We've heard it before, pal. Where Hildegard went? She's just straight up vanished. Probably have to come back and talk to them after I talk to Terranus. A good showing, Slay. I felt no part of I cared for another. The quest line ends with you becoming the new listener? That's kind of lame. I mean, that's when shit should really, like, get interesting. But that just ends, huh? I trust your quarry does not share that luxury. A target in the sewer tenement has been eliminated. Well done. What about the challenges that I posed for this task? I completed all your challenges. Expertly done. I sense that some of your brothers and sisters gaze upon you with jealous eyes. This is good. Perhaps that will motivate them to excel. Take this with the Night Mother's blessing. Return tomorrow. There is always work to be done. That's like a daily repeatable Black Sacrament thing from him. After that, you go to the Night Mother every week and go to Surviving Speaker and give them info on who to kill. Oh, that sounds cool. Tenement. The litany has begun. Brotherhood increased to three. Oh, who's this? The fuck is Navusa? Now let's see. We got an achievement. Complete a black sacrament contract without being detected. Feature black. Yeah, all right. Oh, Dark Brotherhood chest crafting motif. Very nice. Medium armor. Hey, this is an actual thing I could use, theoretically. Theoretically, yes. Those are actually pretty cool looking, although they definitely need to be dyed. To fit my color scheme. such time as I can dye them wear them this fashion first 
But when I get to a die thing, I'll die them and I'll wear them, I suppose. Because I get the three piece set bonus from the Sithis stuff, which is nice. Have you run into anyone with the name of Chance? I don't think so. Why do you disturb me, Initiate? Bye. Alright, who the hell is Navusa? The listener said you would come to me. What did you say about the listener? The listener sent me to deliver the litany of blood. I placed it before the Night Mother's shrine. She said the book is meant for the killer who tasted death. While that could refer to anyone in the sanctuary, I believe she intends it for you. What's the litany of blood? A test, perhaps? A message, most certainly. Your brothers and sisters have gazed upon it and seen nothing but blank pages. They found it to be comforting. Calming, but totally empty. Perhaps your eyes will see something more. Take a look at the book. Go and look at the litany of blood. If you see nothing, then you aren't the one I supposed you to be. Are you? I'm the asking. The listener sent me to deliver the litany of blood. That's all you need to know, and more than I want to say. The listener. The listener and the four speakers make up the Black Hand, the ruling council of the Dark Brotherhood. You might even say she's the leader of the council. The listener hears the words of the Night Mother and whispers them to the speakers. You said the pages of the book are blank? As blank as the stare in a dead man's eyes. But go ahead and see for yourself. I'm curious to find out if the listener is right about you. If you can see what's really there. Goodbye. Alright. Litany of Blood. The listener sent a mysterious dark elf to the sanctuary to deliver a strange tome by the statue of the Night Mother. She mentioned that it was meant for the killer who tasted death. Navusa said I should examine the Litany of Blood for myself. Blank book rests at the base of the Night Mother's Shrine in the Sanctuary. Alright. Eager to prove your- <laughs> Litany of Blood, let's do this. this. This doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. Litany of Blood. Woe unto they, Night Mother, those born to Anu. From beyond death's prison, I offer those who meet my unshriven gaze with your blade's cold caress. You will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Skywatch, I offer she who reflects the heavens in her gaze and dress, drifting from dance to dance. You will know them by their eye. What is this talking about? Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Elden Root, I offer he who is as aged and gnarled as the trees, his back bowed but not bent. You will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Marbrook, I offer she who surveys the market beneath an auburn veil and keeps silver close to her heart. You will know them by their eyes. Is this a list of targets? 
pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Volkwiston, I offer she who sweeps away the seasons with straw and a swish of her tail. No, I don't. Is I don't want to kill an Argonian. Or is it a? Or is it a fucking Khajiit? In which case, yeah, that's fine. Fuck Khajiit. You will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Rolka, I offer he who clothes his stripes of brown with stripes of gold. Now that's a Khajiit. You will know them by their eye. Okay, there's a- wow. There's a lot of these guys. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Davin's watch, I offer he who is silver, ash, and fire, wrapped in copper filigree. You will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Mournhold, I offer she who marches beneath a red crest and wields winding steel. You will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Stormhold, I offer she who is caked in mud, but wears a halo, a halo of bone, bright and untouched by mire. You will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Windhelm, I offer she who bears time at her waist, but for whom age has not robbed her golden crown. You will know them by their eye. Uh, nope. None of those names look familiar, Sina. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Riften, I offer he whose arms are coiled and stickied with the ink and weeds of the sea will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Daggerfall, I offer he whose dress is as cool as his demeanor, and pate as barren as his heart. You will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Wayrest, I offer she who peers from behind a crimson curtain, and marred her face to hide her nature. You will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Shornhelm, I offer she who greets death as a sister. Her smile joyless and unflinching. You will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Sentinel, I offer he who leaves a trail of neat black ropes dangling over a golden cage. You will know them by their eye. Pray to thee, dread father, those born to Anu. From Evermore, I offer she whose heart bears many scars, but does not fear to wear them proudly. You will know them by their eye. You know what I think would be cool? I think it'd be cool if these were all targets, which they probably are, but if the game gave you no further fucking instructions. If you just had to go to all these cities and try to figure out who all these people are on your own. That would be pretty fucking cool. Alright, so Litany of Blood. Kind of an important book. Let's talk to Navusa again. Tell me, assassin, what did you see? You can read blood. So the listener was right. Tell me, what did you see? Some kind of prayer or ritual, maybe. Very poetic. What a blessing you've received. The Night Mother has chosen you to fulfill the Litany of Blood. Let me ask you this. Did the passages make any sense to you? It's a chant. Descriptions of people like riddles, ending with you will know them by their eye. Of course. The targets must be marked in some way. Easier than I would make it, but who am I to question the listener? It's clear to me that you must decipher the Litany of Blood and kill the targets inscribed on its pages. Why do you think targets? Of course they're targets! What else would it be? What else would a book provided by the listener contain? 
Determine each target and assassinate them. Beyond that, the will of Sithis isn't for you or I to question. Your task won't be easy, but the listener has faith that you will succeed. I'm gonna have to do a lot of traveling because I do not have way shrines to most of those places. You've been given a sacred duty. Perform it well and bring honor to the Night Mother and your sanctuary, Assassin. Your brothers and sisters would kill to have been chosen for such a task. Why didn't the listener just tell me who to assassinate? The listener required someone special for this task, but the Black Hand wasn't sure who to assign it to. The Night Mother always provides, though. You can read the litany. I'm sure there are clues among its words. From beyond death prison, from beyond death's prison, I offer those who meet my unshriven gaze your blade's cold caress. See what this is referring to, and like she said earlier, somebody touched by death. In the very beginning of this game, the very beginning, your character is killed in a ritual to Molog Ball, and your soul goes to, to Cold Harbor. And while you're there, you basically fight your way free and do some stuff and get out somehow, and so you're a survivor. Everybody there is called the Soul Shriven, because they're, you know, trapped there, and their souls have been stolen from their bodies or whatever. And you escape that fate, so then that would be why you're called you know, unshriven. And that's why it says from beyond death's prison, because you were actually dead. And you've come back. With the help of this powerful, mysterious character who's basically Gandalf, as far as I can understand. And a, and a, and a Nord lady who is voiced by Jennifer Hale. Jennifer Hale helps you escape from death. And some wizardly dude voiced by Max von Sydow, I think. Beyond death's prison, I offer those who meet my unshriven gaze with your... It's actually the coolest tutorial I've seen in a game. You're not fucking around killing boars and shit. You're escaping from Cold Harbor with your soul after having been sacrificed in a ritual. It's pretty cool. Did you have a brush with death? It would fit and it would explain your special sight. The reason you can read the litany. The last part is easier to interpret. Make ritual offerings with your sacred blade. Sacred blade. Uh, blade of woe? The assassin's blade you were given access to when you were initiated. The Blade of Woe. It's a symbol and a sacred instrument. The will of Sithis made manifest. I'm sure the blade will play an important role as you complete the litany. I killed the wrong person. There are no wrong people. The <laughs> Dread Father welcomes every soul you send him, aside from your brothers and sisters. Obey the five tenets. And you have no fear of invoking the wrath of Sithis. That's a good in-character justification for all the random people I murder. I'm sending them to Sithis. Considering that my character comes from a wood elf village that was completely destroyed and burned to the ground and everybody in it slaughtered. And then she was found as a little girl by a Argonian shadow scale who, who personally raised her and taught her the arts of killing and stealth. And that's basically all of the socialization she's had to this point. I could see her fully embracing the Dark Brotherhood and this whole Sithis thing and getting like really into it. So... Well, say goodbye. I don't think he's gonna say anything new, but you never know. You he do doesn't. Something? Okay.
Wait, where's my... This copy of the Litany of Blood will allow you to re reference your victims more easily. Right, okay. So I don't even have a quest? You've been given a sacred duty. Perform it well and we... Travel to Vavardenfell, go to Orsinium and help out some orcs. The Harborage, that's the main quest. Which I have not done any of past the tutorial. Well, I've got this contract to Sean. That's the Mages Guild and Fighters Guild quest lines. Now let's calm all this down. So I guess I need to go merc. Maybe it is going to do that, because if I don't have an official quest, that means there's not going to be any quest markers showing me where the people are that I gotta kill. Which means I really do gotta go use the book to figure it out myself, which is actually really cool. Instead of just running to a quest marker on the fucking map, you know what I'm saying? So much whining. Okay, she doesn't say anything new. I wanna talk to my fellows, though. I wonder where Tannik is. Well, he's probably still in bed. Give the sense a lot of people who aren't targets are about to die. <laughs> well, if you kill everybody in the city, one of them had to be the target, right? Oh, now Mirabelle's moping on her bed. Have you talked to Kor? Seems his little wolf girl has run off. I was wondering where she went. See if you can help. Someone should go look for her before anything... Well, you know. Where she wolfs out and murders a bunch of people? Alright. Sure thing, Mirabelle. What's up, Tannic? My buddy? My buddy? Don't worry about me. I just... Okay. My buddy? I hope your contracts go smoothly, Initiate. Kill well, and kill often. Every soul you send to the Void pleases Sithis to no end. See? Every soul I send to the Void. So I should just be Blight of Woeing every person I can, basically. have a legitimate RP reason for doing it. What is... I do like th things, the way this game does things like, after every quest you do, ooh, I never noticed this book under her bed before. Oh, it's Ca Captain Wearshark Part 4. Now, I have... Parts 4, 7, and 5. I've read 5. I was waiting to hopefully find 6 before I read 7. But now I just have 4. So I'm going to wait and see what other parts I find. Uh-oh. We've got a little bit of a lock-up here. Come on, ga come on, game. You can do it. Come on, game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My screen- Uh-oh. The Elder Scrolls Online has quit unexpectedly. Not good. Not good. Really bad, in fact. The game just crashed.
Hold on a second. That is unfortunate. Fucked up my recording. Well, let me start the game back up. And we'll um, try again. You can do it, game. Even you. Yay! It's back! Well, now would actually take be a great time for me to take a super fast two minute break. Super fast two minute break to grab some water. Probably not even two minutes, probably like a one minute break. I'll be right back. Maybe one more minute. Be right back.
Okay. Hello. I'm back. I'm watching my OBS and it's behaving very strangely. I don't know why. What's going on, OBS? Why are you being weird? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Can you even hear me? Yeah, the crown store is where you pay real money for stuff, but it's not anything you, like, need to play the game. Well, the only alternative to microtransactions is a subscription. With microtransactions, the advantage is like 80% of the player base doesn't pay anything and they just play as much as they want without paying a dime. And the other 20% buy a bunch of unnecessary stuff and, and subsidize the other 80% of the players playing the game for free. You can hear me? Good. Thanks, Blank Slate. Ooh. Alright, well, my game crashed, so that's not cool. So let me load my character up here, and we'll continue. Hopefully with no more crashing. As a completionist, I'm the kind of person they target. Oh yeah, you could never be a com you could you would have to not play a game like this if you would be would be completionist about because they constantly coming out with new shit costumes and mounts and things and in order to keep up and buy every single thing you'd have to spend way too much money way too much money you, you couldn't you couldn't do it nobody could do it well a rich person could do it but. I am, I do, I, I have a ESO Plus membership right now, yes, which basically means I've, I've subbed. I'm paying $15 a month currently. Alright, well we're back here. Saga of Captain Wear Shark. We're not going to read right now because I want to... fuck is the Remananda? I think we're touring the birth... This is like the beginning of the fucking empire, huh? Hrall did love unto a hillock. What? <laughs> Said what? We're not gonna read the Tamriel bestiary either. Alright. Let me uh, start my recording back up. Hey, Sin, 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 thank you for that host. Sinarchy X, awesome guy. If you're not following him, go now and do that. Let me start my recording. Hold on. Well, I don't know if he's here. I just know that he's hosting me all of a sudden. Sudden, sudden host. There he is. There's Sen X. Click his name and click follow. That's what you do. How you doing, Sen? You're tired? You've been awake for a long time or what? I'm starting my recording here. This is Josiah Plays, The Elder Scrolls Online, Dark Brotherhood DLC. Alright, my last episode ended abruptly because my game crashed, which also aborts the recording. So, that's a game crash, and now we're back. So, 
I'm looking around to see... I've already read this about the Black Hand. Got my little timer. I don't suppose you have a little wolf trailing behind you? No? Seems Hildegard has gone missing again. If she seeks to abandon the Brotherhood, she'll have to be put down. I suppose I can give her a little more time before I write up the contract. Yeah, no, give her some time. I'll go find her. Don't even trip. Um. Over 10 hour stream. Just gaming, mad, just so I can finish near and get some other games. And that's crazy, Sin. 10 hour stream. I've done a few that long or longer, but not many. All right, let's go see if we can find our friend. Oh, here's Core, and he Where does have a quest for us. This time? What's up, Core? Ah, friend, am I glad to see you? It's Hildegard. She never came back after she went to say a prayer for Tannic. I think I could use your help. Has Hildegard been missing? After Tannik was injured during the Grand Sermonizer incident, Hilda went to pray for him, and I haven't seen her since. No one has. It's not like Hilda to just disappear without saying a word to me or Astara. Where does Hildegard usually go to pray? She loves temples, but the trouble in Kvetch has made her avoid the big cathedral. Lately, she's been visiting the great chapel of Debella in Anvil. I think the ritual soothe her. Will you come to Anvil and help me find Hildegard? In before I walk into the chapel of Debella, and all the priests of Debella are just laying around, ripped apart, blood everywhere. I'll help you find Hildegard. Because she's a werewolf, you see. I'll meet you at the chapel in Anvil. Hopefully we'll find Hilda curled up and sleeping under Debella's statue. Just be careful when you get to the city. The Pirate Queen hates the Brotherhood almost as much as the Sermonizers do. Has Hildegard gone missing before? She likes to commune with the Divines and with nature. And she takes on contracts like the rest of us. Though it's not that unusual for her to be away from the Sanctuary. But with the recent attacks against us, I can't help but imagine the worst. Think something may have happened to Hildegard? I hope she's all right. But who knows what to think when the world turns upside down? Someone's been murdering the murderers. If Hildegard's been hurt, or worse, I don't know what I'll do. What's the deal with you and Hildegard? What are you implying, Initiate? Hilda is like a sister to me. Ever since I found her. I've been trying to help her come to grips with her situation. She may be a werewolf, but she's a good person. The Brotherhood is lucky to have her. Hard to believe the Brotherhood tolerates a werewolf in its midst. Why is that so hard to believe? She's an excellent tracker and a ruthless killer in werewolf form. Sometimes she brings back body parts she's still gnawing on, but... Who hasn't gotten lost in the moment a time or two? <laughs> I always clean up the mess. Who hasn't occasionally gnawed a body part? Am I right? Let he who is without sin throw the first severed femur. Why does the Pirate Queen hate the Dark Brotherhood? The Pirate Queen hates everything she can't control. The Count of Kavach, the Primate, us... She wants to rule the entire Gold Coast, but we're not willing to just roll over and give in to her demands. We're independent, and we like it that way. Goodbye. Alright, so now I have a new quest. Questions of Faith. Hildegard never returned to the Sanctuary after going out to pray for Tannic. Kor asked me to help him find her. Or suggested we start our search at Anvil's great chapel of Debella. Hildegard often goes there to pray and contemplate the divines. All right. I'll meet you at the chapel in Anvil. 
Hopefully we'll find Hilda curled up and sleeping under Debella's statue. You said that already. Okay. Um... So you decided to help find Hildegard, huh? Well, there's no shame in helping your brothers and sisters. Just don't let it interfere with your other duties, Initiate. It won't interfere. Although clearing all those targets from the litany of blood is going to take some time. You've adopted the creeper voice? Yeah. You and the Nord seek the girl. Hmm. My research suggests she is a confused and tormented individual, prone to blaming herself when misfortune strikes. My conclusion? She's going to get herself killed. Yeah, that Nord does, did have some lustrous hair. It's not exactly helpful. It isn't. I'll make note of that. Perhaps this will be more useful. Chasing after Hilda will likely result in your death as well. Oh, you don't know me at all, Green Venom Tongue. I'm down with GVT. Yeah, you know me. She's part of the family. Shouldn't we look out for each other? Not once did I deny that. I simply set the facts at your feet. To act despite this knowledge would not be such a terrible thing. I got this, buddy. You and the Nord. Are you gonna tell me you're still tired? Don't worry about He's it. He's still tired. I hope you find her. Foolish girl, running off now of all times. Just bring her back. Are you doing all right? I don't need you to look after me, Initiate. I've seen more death than most, and sent more than my share to the Roid. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to get laid. But weren't you and Simbar close? He was entertaining while he lasted. Perhaps even more so than some of my previous diversions. But that's all he was. What, do you think I loved him? I learned long ago to discard such silly notions. Okay. Edgelord. I hope you find her. Foolish girl, running off now of all times. Just bring her back. Think Hildy would really run away? The girl? I wouldn't think so. But the wolf, who can say? Hildegard is of two minds, and that can be both a blessing and a curse. Goodbye. Trying to help him keep warm blooded. <laughs> Just saying, my character Ash here has an affinity for Argonians. An affinity. What that means exactly is is hard to say. Let's talk to the orc. Now the orc's not here. Of course. I don't really need to talk to the bone master there. Let's talk to the obnoxious dark elf again, who will probably say the same obnoxious shit. Look, no offense, but I don't exactly fall into the hole. Yeah, whatever. And finally, let's talk to... Coats my goats over here. Who... You've been given a sacred duty. Perform it well. Alright, I'll do it. Have you come to... Where's... Where's... What's his name? I always forget... Elam. Elam... Smalls or something. The guy who's... Usually gives us our jobs and stuff. Elam Drawls. That's who I was referring to as Totes McGoats. Got a contract? Good. Now off with you. 
What was the guy... Saito, only you can answer this. What was the guy in fucking Mad Max? Not what was his real name. What was it that I called him? Oh, I remember now. Never mind. It was McGilla Gorilla. <laughs> McGilla Gorilla. This guy right here is the new McGilla Gorilla. Alright. Let's, uh... I need to go find... I need to go find, um... Hildegard. She seemed like a sweetheart. I read her little book, too, where she was writing about how she helped those people out as a werewolf. It was cute. Griffa and his preternatural ability to keep masses of belongings on his back? Yeah. Griffa. AKA McGilla Gorilla, as he preferred to be called. The answer was inside of us the whole time. Alright. I no longer have a bounty, which is rad. Let's go. to the Chapel of Debella in Anvil. And if I happen to murder some stuff along the way, so be it. I'm actually pretty stoked about this. I want this bug loss. I'm pretty stoked about this litany of blood thing. This is the kind of quest I like. Long, complex, requires you to think and figure stuff out for yourself and travel a bunch of different areas. This is the kind of quest that most people probably hate. I mean, I gotta read this book. Pop it on here. Gotta read this book and go to all these different places and figure out who these people are and murder them. Which would be awesome. What the hell happened to that wall by the time of Oblivion? Well, it's not a well-constructed wall. They said that. And so, if it's been 400 years or whatever, it wouldn't be hard to imagine that it's been knocked down and scattered and... It's a bird. It's a rune. for goodies. Give me goodies. Oh, that's a lion! Okay. For some reason, I thought that was just like an antelope or something. Pretty weird mistaking a lion for an antelope, but... They probably carried off the stones to use for other construction. Hmm. 
Because after all, the only reason that thing is still standing right now is because the Empire is currently kind of defunct, right? Like, at the moment, there is no Emperor. Due to the events of this game. But then, shortly after the events of this game, there's gonna be an Emperor again, and the Empire Empire's gonna get back to its normal business, and they're gonna be like, No. <laughs> Fuck you, the Gold Coast does not get to be its own separate country. Let, fuck this wall. <laughs> and and then they're gonna take back all their shit and... And they're gonna tear down the wall. The only thing to banish that completely after its heyday was Art Garfunkel's career. I gotta admit, I'm not all that conversant on the life story of Art Garfunkel. I know who he is, but, like, I don't, I haven't really followed what happened with his career. Although, seriously, has Art Garfunkel even done anything in the last 20 years? Is he even still alive? All right, we made it. Finest merchandise around. I don't have a bounty. I don't have to worry about the guards. A tree broke up with Simon. He basically fell off the face of the earth. Well, that's how it goes with these people I sometimes. I wish I could use Blade of Woe on the guards. Man, that would be good. Why am I all super lagified now? This has been happening a lot lately. It only happens when I'm streaming and playing this. Well, there's core. Yield is not here. Let's ask around and see if any of the worshippers have seen her. Ilda isn't here. Where could she be? I'm certain this is where she was headed when she left the sanctuary. Let's ask around and see if anyone saw her. Hopefully someone can point us in a new direction. Or uses a lot of product. A lot of product. Think anyone in here can really help us? I certainly hope so. Hilda is pretty distinctive. After all, how many young Nord women with flowers in their hair could there be in Anvil? And visiting a chapel, no less. Ask around and see if you can find out anything. Okay. Or suggested we talk to the worshippers to find out if any of them say Hildegard saw Hildegard in the chapel recently. You sure the worshippers here will be quite cordial? Really, Sido? Really? Really? <laughs> really? So many divines, so many rituals, but I've come for the main event, as it were. I have a particular fondness for Dabella. Must be her connection to beauty and love. And erotic instruction. I could use a few new techniques in that regard. Okay. We get to the core of this problem in no time. Oh, for the love of God, Sido. You are completely incorrigible. So I can talk to all these people. Alright, let's talk to Gareb. Ask in the holiness of this sacred place, and let your troubles fade away. Have you seen any young Nord women who wears a flower in her hair? I have seen many such women in this city. I heard the governor wore one at a recent appearance, and now the custom has become a sort of 
fashion statement. Sorry, I cannot be of more assistance to you, Wayfarer. Beat me to that one. Still, you've managed to corrupt you with my puns. Goodbye. Read it. I want that joint hammer. Hold on. I'm gonna be sneaky. I'm here to get a joint hammer. I am not detected. Come on. Sticking around. Detected by who exactly? Not this guy. He doesn't see shit. There. Haha! <laughs> I got your joint hammer, son! Ah, now I've lost my train of thought. Well, since you've already interrupted the writing process, what can I do for you? I've seen a young Nord woman. Where's a flower in her hair? A Nord? Here? Is that even possible? I have it on good authority that the typical Nord melts in hot temperatures. Come to think of it, I'm surprised I've never met a Nord. One more thing to do before I finish my memoirs, I suppose. Fucking racist. Hi. I thought there were four. I always see people typing F for folly. In the fucking chat. Like, all the time, and I don't know what the fuck it's in reference to. What- what are they talking about? A, A, type F for folly. F, 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 F for folly. I see that all the time in the chat, and I don't know what the hell it means. I don't think it's just a meme. I think they're communicating something of relevance, but... I wonder if I can get a priest to tell me how they keep the fires burning. I hope it's not one of those sacred secrets that they're always going on about. You seen a young Nord woman who has a flower in her hair. Now that you mention it, I remember a young woman. No, wait. That was a wood elf. Carried around a bouquet of flowers. Talked to them, smelled them. Then she ate them! Really, wood elves are very strange. Dude, while Cor was standing right there staring at the back of her head, it looked like he was totally about to murder her. <laughs> it was awesome. He just suddenly starts blade of woeing fools. That'd be amazing. Um... She ate the flowers. Wood elves are very strange. You know you're talking to a wood elf, right? I don't eat flowers. I just eat people. Bye. My, someone is certainly curious about this Nord girl. I wonder who she could be. Your interest in this young Nord woman has certainly piqued my curiosity. Tell me who she is, and I'll tell you what I saw. It's a friend who's gone missing, trying to find her. I saw a young Nord with a flower in her hair talking to Chanter Nemes over by the Akatosh Shrine. I remember because it was so odd. He was whispering in her ear and standing much too close for a man who wasn't her father or her lover. Uh-oh, she's... Run afoul of a creeper. Okay. Akatosh Shrine. Oh good, an Akatosh Chanter. Of course. Fucking Akatosh Church, always behind everything that's bad. They could at least give you the courtesy of giving the statement context.
you're really giving me no quarter with these puns. All right. Uh, could you hear what he was saying? Oh, believe me, I tried. When they were finished, the poor young woman had tears streaming down her face. She ran out of the chapel as the chanter looked on. He had a self-satisfied smile on his face. Do you think he said something improper? I don't think so, because I think if he'd said something improper, Hildegard would not have been crying because of that. He must have said something much worse to make her cry. I mean, because she is, you know, she's not some wimp. She's a fucking assassin. Um... put it past one of the chanters to take advantage of their position. I knew that chanter was up to no good. Sneaking around, meeting with mysterious young Nords with flowers in their hair. It's simply <laughs> scandalous. Don't worry, though. I'll leave your friend out of this when I tell my story at the tavern tonight. Certain you will. This is as good as one of those bawdy pirate empress stories. A mysterious warrior looking for a young Nord who is last seen talking intimately with a chanter. <gasps> Anvil will be shocked by the news. But obviously no one will hear about it from me. Who the... What the hell is happening right now? Is this... <laughs> this whole time? Did I not realize my the game was a musical? When you're in the middle of a normal scene and all of a sudden people just start breaking out into song and dance, you're in a musical. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this guy doing? Which one of these was the weirdest? A lot of them are super weird. What's the Argonian dance look like? What the fuck? That's how Argonians dance, allegedly. One of these was really funny. Like, it was really jaunty. Uh, it's not the Red Guard one. The Red Guard one is just... Fucking weird. Alright, why are we why are we having a fucking dance a thon all of a sudden? Who are you? Why can't I even talk to you, singing lady? Not trying to earn your rancor nor create any discord. Listen, I simply cannot encourage this kind of punning. Where did Kor go, by the way? There he is. Found out that a woman saw Hildegard talking to Chanter Nemus near the Akatosh Shrine. I should let Kor know and ask him if he discovered anything that can help us locate Hildegard. But can I... Oh, I can't go in the chapel office. Can I steal from this dresser? I don't want that dress. Did they finish? You should ask for an encore. I could use a break. Troll's blood! Can these people gossip? They're worse than the Rat Master's informants, and he pays them to dredge up secrets! Hilda was here, but no one can say where she went or when. Tell me you had better luck, Initiate. A woman saw Hildegard speaking with Chanter Nemus before she fled in tears. A Chanter spoke with Hilda? That's not what I wanted to hear. Understand, Hilda isn't like us. She grew up in the wild. The idea of being civilized is really new to her. And she still feels guilty about the wolf that's inside her. That's actually exactly like me. <laughs> it's exactly like my character. So you mean she doesn't like you? All right. Chanter said something to upset her. That's an asinine question. She ran off crying. Of course he said something to upset her. It certainly sounds that way to me. The 
doesn't take much to turn her guilt about what she's done as a wolf into self-loathing. I'm constantly trying to get her to change her feelings on the matter, but her beliefs run deep. Any idea where she'd go in such a state of mind? Back to where it all began. Back to Skyrim. I'll check at the docks to see if she's tried to secure passage on a ship. You go talk to the caravan master. Hopefully one of us will discover which route she took to go back to where the wolf was born. I'll talk to the caravan master. I gotta go to the Skyrim, huh? The hasn't seen her. Meet me at the docks. Otherwise, I'll meet you over there. Now, hurry, initiate. Hurry! I'm about sick of being called initiate. I should just murder Omvi Blue Sky here right now, just for the lulls. But I won't. There's too many witnesses. I ain't trying to get a high ass bounty. Alright, what I need to do is go talk to this caravan master. A very worried core thinks that Hildegard may have gone back to where he first found her, the wilderness of Skyrim. While he checks at the docks, he wants me to talk to the caravan master to see if she arranged travel there. Alright, where's this alleged caravan master? Out there, huh? Okay. I feel like I need to send one person off to see Sithis before I leave here. Fuck these cat people. Ooh, a rosewood loot. Hey, Eloise. You know, I was thinking of you. No, I am not going to stone shape the mermaid's hair out of the way. Oh, come on. You're not curious about whether she's... Not even remotely. Bah! To Sovereign God that is. A rubber mallet used to crack arthritic joints, largely considered barbaric and ineffective, it persists as a layman's remedy. Oh, that sounds kind of brutal. Though quite old, this loot is still in excellent condition. There are no noticeable scratches in the lacquered wood. I actually thought about coral. I, I already thought of that one side of it, and I thought, no, it's too much. Well, first of all, it, there's no way to make it relevant to the conversation, but also, I didn't think anybody would get it because... Report you to the guard if I have to. Because I thought the coral thing was a little bit obscure. Since I know that you don't watch The Walking Dead. Black cord wood. No. 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 This isn't really a good game for me to stream, honestly, just because it runs kind of shitty when I'm streaming. And it makes the rest of my computer run shitty. Oh, you know who I need to kill? Oh, he's already dead. Damn you! Honor the Magnificent. Your time will come. Are they still here? Look, they're not! Alright, now I'm curious. If they're not here, are they at their new jobs? 
Rainer and Kirith. Is Rainer here working at the forge? He is! Holy shit! That's surprising. Have I mentioned how much I appreciate what you did for us? Working on the forge has really been quite relaxing. It all starts with a proper cleaning of the bellows. How all those rats got in there, I can't imagine. But they were baked to a crisp. Have, have I mentioned how much... My brother's forge may have seen better days. Okay. Hold on. Oh, oh, it's time. It's fucking time, sir. Dark Elf Travel Goblet. A sturdy drinking vessel designed to withstand the rigors of travel made of pewter or wood and decorated with Dark Elf runes. Okay. To Sithis, you go. Next gen NPC interaction. I know, right? Now we gotta check in with Kirith and see how she's doing. Wait, crafty. Oh, I see you all right. She's actually here? Alright, so you meet Crafty Larissa in the other bar, in the other city, right? You meet her in fucking. in, um. Kavach. You do a quest with her. At the end of the quest, she's like, Hey, maybe meet up with me in the bar in... in uh, Or well, let's get a drink in fucking Anvil later or something. And I was thinking, I wonder if she's actually in the bar in Anvil later. And then I forgot all about it. But here she is. That's impressive. Now where's... Oh, there's Kirith playing her weird flute. You just missed it. My rendition of rememberings from the Dark Elf musical Was brought the house down. It's a sad, touching number with a few light moments, but I've never seen a crowd laugh so hard. I guess I really nailed the high notes. <laughs> musical Guars. Oh, oh, you just missed That's so cool. I did I made the Carl joke back in Pillars of Eternity. I didn't realize. Coral! It does make sense, though, with the coral thing. It seems like that's a thing that would occur to me, yeah. What's up, Larissa? Decided to take me up on that offer of a drink? Good. I don't mind drinking alone, but I could use the company. Besides, Howler just gets mean when he's had a few mugs of ale. You seem all right with your sister dear disappearing again. It's what we do. She'll come back when she gets bored, or she needs something. She always does. Howler's a bit disappointed he didn't get more time with her, but he'll get over it. Nothing a few dozen mugs of ale won't cure. That's pretty cool. Hurry to the cloudy drake. Oh yeah, that's a quest I haven't resolved yet, so he's still saying the same thing. What about this guy? These pirates can get kind of wild. No, okay. Alright, where do I need to go? Talk to the caravan master, that's right. Is knife juggler guy back? I like to think that Honra the Magnificent is like the Dread Pirate Roberts. It's not actually him. It's just every time he dies, a new person comes and takes up the mantle of Honrad the Magnificent and does the, the juggling there. Alright, where's this alleged caravan master? This guy. Falks Brolus? No. No, Falks Brolus. Shit! Who saw me? There's nobody around. Apparently that guy. Fine, 
whatever. Now we get to play around with the avoid the guards thing for the next three hours. I don't even know where that guy was that allegedly saw me. Fucking hacks. Well, presumably some of those old Dread Pirate Roberts had to have died, because of time passing. You know. Open for business. What would entice people to take up the mantle of the constantly murdered juggler? Maybe it's a position funded by the city. It's just a job. People keep taking it because it pays too good. They're desperate. The next caravan will be ready to leave shortly. If that interests you, find a place nearby to sit for a spell and I'll call you when we're ready. Looking for a young Nord woman. There's a flower in her hair. Well, isn't that interesting? You're the second menacing stranger that's asked me about a Nord who may or may not have fled in tears. Even if I had seen this young woman, why do you think I'd tell you anything? Trying to help her. Her family is worried about her. Right. Her family. The way that young woman was crying, you'd think Molag Bal himself was after her. Or someone like you. If I had helped the Nord, and I'm not saying I did, you'd have to do a lot better than that to get me to tell you anything. <sighs> How can I convince you? I'm trying to help her. Your caravan take her to Skyrim? Sorry. I protect my customers and their secrets. I've got nothing else to say. Caravan Master, please! The young woman with the flower in her hair! She's in terrible danger! Well, look at you! You must be the brother. So you did see Hildegard. Please, you need to tell us where she's gotten to. You're all she talked about other than begging me for transport. I do was gonna miss you most of all. Word on the docks was that the Silver Dawn was looking for my sister too. We need to know where she went. The young woman wanted a ride to the Yarol Mountains. Sent her on the last wagon, but I can take you there if that would help. You'd appreciate that. Thank you. The fuck is the Yarol Mountains? Hildegard told the caravan master about Kor, and she recognized him. She's agreed to take us to the Yarrow Mountains in Skyrim, where she took Hildegard to talk to her when we're ready to go. Or mentioned the Silver Dawn. I should talk to him to see what he found out. Yeah, I was wondering what the hell is the Silver Dawn. The news about the Silver Dawn has made me even more concerned about Hilda's safety. We have to hurry! What was that about the Silver Dawn? The Silver Dawn are werewolf hunters. <gasps> oh! has made her run back to the wilderness where I found her. And now a hunting party is on her trail. They're going to kill her initiate. That Silver Dawn, I remember them. Okay. Yeah, those guys are assholes. Not if we reach her first. Let's get moving. We can't let those Silver Dawn bastards find Hilda before we do. Yeah, save Hilda. Hashtag save Hilda. What do you think you're doing? Sorry I gave you the runaround, but I was just trying to protect my passenger. Those Silver Dawn ruffians came around asking about her right before you did. I didn't say a word to them either. Just let me know when you're ready to go to Skyrim. We're ready to go now. Then hop aboard the wagon and let's get going. I'll get you there as fast as I can without throwing a wheel. Well... At least without throwing more than one. If the Silver Dawn hunts your friend, you better be ready for a fight. I'm ready. I'm always ready for a fight. Yarrow Mountains logging track. The rugged peaks of the Yarrow Mountains divide Cyrodiil from Skyrim. A few passes cross the mountains, granting loggers and trappers access into the deep backwoods. 
Besides Saito, everybody's constantly murdered in this town. So, like, being the juggler, not being the juggler, juggler, you're not safe no matter what job you have. The forest is probably crawling with silver dawn hunters. Unless you're a guard. But, apparently you have to have 10 million health to be a guard, so that's probably a hard requirement for most people to, uh... I mean, I might as well take some stuff out these sacks, right? Like... When you're ready to go back to Anvil, just say the word. Bye. Alright. Let's see, we've got a strange little area here. Track Hildegard, it says. Ooh, there's jute here. The fuck is... Why is that little bush glowing? Where the hell did Kor go? Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna run around randomly. Till such time. Alright, so I think these bushes that are glowing is the tracking thing. Like, oh, look, here's a track. Let it lead me to the next one, which is over here. Right? I'm supposed to follow from one glowing bush to the next. This is like my equivalent of Witcher senses. Which doesn't make sense, because why would I have Witcher senses? But, whatever. Or maybe Kor is the tracker and he's marking these bushes for me. Fine, but now I don't see any more glowing bushes. Lots of stuff to collect here, though. Get arrested and put under 24-hour supervision. Wait, what? Whatever it was that I said that you're referring referencing when you say that, I don't remember what it was. I think I see it glowing. Oh wow, aspen trees! These are aspens. Well, kind of. I guess they're supposed to be aspens. Oh, look, it's a dire wolf. Hope that wasn't you, Hildegard! I was just hearing a sound. I can't get up on some shit, can I? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, okay. I'm getting up on some shit. This would be like the best game ever if it weren't for other players, if it didn't have other players. Or if I could like just, you know, if I could, if I could, um, optionally at my own deciding and choosing. Flowers were expertly and recently picked. How do you, okay. 
Expertly and recently picked from this plant without damaging either the plant or the remaining blossoms. So expert. Who could be such an expert in flower picking? It must be Hildegard, the werewolf. Nothing about this is questionable. Anyway, if I could, like, optionally group up with people when I want to, to do group kind of content, or whatever, but then the whole rest of the time I would just be running around in the world and I'd be alone, that would be perfect. That's how it is in, like, Diablo, Diablo 3, Diablo 2. That's how it was in Guild Wars 1. Who the fuck is this guy? Can you, will he talk to me? No? Alright, fuck him then. The Sith is with you. as much before as well. At least I can cut some maple. These wolves just here for no reason? This whole way that you can go is here for no reason? These imp stools aren't going to collect themselves. I mean, oh, Silver Dawn. Somebody's going to Sithis. They were guarding this emetic Russula. My second favorite kind of Russula. Wow. That looks like the den of a dangerous animal. At this point, I don't even. Oh, hey. At this point, I don't even care about finding... Well, I mean, I do, but, like... Oh, look, there's another one. Sith is sun. Get Sithist. My favorite kind is Bertrand. Russ. I see what you did there! Ha ha ha! Oh no! 
That one was a risk because you didn't know if I would know who Bertrand Russell was. Oh shit. Apparently I've completed- oh, I see your trap. Is that my first fucking rodeo? Alright, oh, here's their camp. Oh, some flax. Alright, none of these fuckers are going home alive. I've outflanked them. Now I'm going to grab up on some blue antiloma, my favorite color of antiloma. Why couldn't I? What the fuck is happening? See ya. Uh, and I. Oh, shit. There's more. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked! What's happening right now? It was a trap! All of a sudden there were an ass load of dudes. All around me and I wasn't prepared for that. Okay. Oh. I can resurrect myself with the soul gem. This is gonna go a little differently, kids. Also, I didn't have a healing potion ready. Because I had that stupid book on my item thing. Alright, who do we got? Mer Suddenly there's 18 dudes here. Listen, Silver Dawn Scout. Could I possibly ever Blade of Woe somebody? That'd be great. What is this bull- Okay. When I hit invisibility, you should not be hitting me after that. Just saying. Expect not to get hit when I'm invisible. And yet the game sometimes chooses to disagree with that thought. Now, what am I even doing? Oh, here's the boss. Oh, God! 
God, that was a lot of damage. Wow. Purifier Gunthefer is no joke. Hitting hard. Hitting hard. An ass load of dudes. That was my favorite episode of Josiah's Kids Show. I don't remember. What did I say? Okay. We're gonna try this again here in a fucking second because I need to end this episode. So, if you're watching the stream, don't go anywhere because I'm not done playing. If you're watching on YouTube, Thank you for watching. That's going to do it for this episode. So, thanks again for watching. This has been Josiah Plays The Elder Scrolls Online Dark Brotherhood DLC.